Hello everyone, welcome to Planet Geology. We are getting a lot of requests from students who are asking like what could be their expected rank in this year's GATE Geology exam uh, based on their score uh, after checking the official answer key. So we basically conducted a short survey of, uh, of some students who we had access to and basically to discuss what their marks were okay so for 2022 uh, for the first time we had conducted that survey and based on that basically very few students would usually respond in those surveys so we had a date of around 200 students and then uh, usually the number of students that will appear in the gate exam it will be close to 5000 so what what could be your rank based on those results that that i can tell you again it is uh, i can tell you as per uh, our expectations and as per survey results what what could be the uh, actual gate rank uh, again there could be errors in that uh, basically it depends on that the students have reported their scores correctly there is no bias in that uh, but I do think there, there is slight bias in that. So we can adjust those scores uh, accordingly. So I will just show you very briefly those uh, results of the survey. Okay. So in this survey, if you can see, so this is how, uh, what, what is the distribution of the marks? So 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30, 40. So basically going to 9 to 200. Uh, actually, I conducted it on Telegram. So therefore, I think some students, uh, I, I, did, I should have put the option to say like uh, just just checking for the score but i did not so i don't believe that this 10 to 20 and 90 to 100 are correct because the distribution is expected to be normal and it should keep going down like this so students just to check what what are the results of the survey they probably kick this 10 20 and 90 100 so i will not consider these in my analysis these scores okay so we will just consider this part okay so, but anyway, you see most of the score, students are scoring between 40 to 50. That is the what is called the mode value. Okay. So, the mode value is 40 to 50. So, maximum number of students are scoring between this score. Okay. Uh, so, other students are scoring more than this. Then other students are scoring less than this. So, uh, basically, we have got these individual numbers. And based on those numbers, what is the percentage of students in each bucket? This is the score. So as I said, what I do, do done next is just, just ignore these marks for the top and bottom part. Okay. So if it is like statistically distributing, like falling like this, so it will basically capture that part. Okay. So this is what is happening here. Okay. So uh, basically if you ignore those parts, so this is the result that we get. So basically it is falling nicely around this 40 to 50 score. So average score will be around 40, 45, which I think is slightly higher than you would expect. Average score being 45. Average score should be around 35, between 35 to 40, considering the level of the exam this year. Uh, 40 to 50 is I think too high. So there, there is definitely a bias in the sample because most of the students who are responding, probably they got decent score who are active on telegram okay so there are many students in the country who may not be active active on the telegram groups okay so probably they, they, they are not scoring as high again that is an expectation so i will show you basically the results that that we get from both these analysis so in this sheet basically that is this is this is the distribution that i've got and i have done some analysis assuming it to be a normal distribution okay so the mean score actually is 49.35 okay so because there is a slight bias on the higher end side you can see here so it's 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 like stretching so some students have reported scores between 80 to 90 and some have scored uh, reported between 90 to 100 but i don't think all of these are correct okay so uh, it's definitely not the case that nine students will get between this uh, this score uh, so overall mean is this standard deviation is this and then based, based on that we can basically calculate the uh, z-score and percentile based on this so based on the raw data i've calculated these z-scores and percentiles for the students that the how, how what ranks they may get okay so uh, you can basically check i will i will put the link uh, to this data in the description below the page uh, you can check these out these ranks okay and it is a good exercise for you also how to basically uh, calculate uh, percentiles z-score and based on that yeah basically first z-score and then based on that percentiles okay so you can see here so if for example based on this raw analysis okay so if you score around 35 marks your rank should be 4000 which is definitely wrong okay this is just based on raw analysis of the data that was collected based on the survey okay so i think this is this is not correct okay so you you, you will not get such bad rank for for 
if you score 35 uh, and and at 50 your rank will be 2400 and if you score 60 it will be 1000 so this year paper was easy so students are scoring more that is what we have got but this is not really the case so based on my ex experience for example for several few years the cutoff score usually for gate is is 40 percent okay so this 40 percent is the 25th percentile score okay so this 0 0.76 is not uh, percentile it is one minus percentile so this is actually only 25th percentile okay so even if the score goes to 50 okay it is just 52 percentile okay so this is definitely not the case so here we get 75 percentile that is the value here should be 0 0.25 okay so based on that analysis i think the cutoff will be somewhere around here 51 to 50 and if we adjust the scores so i have adjusted based on this so i think there is a bias of around 8, 8 to 10 marks and if you take that adjustment okay so this is the data that we get so around 40 marks rank will be actually pretty low this year 2700 if you score around 50 it will be 1266 and if you score around 60 it will be 380 so last year in 60s the rank was under 100 okay if you score around 70 okay which is actually pretty high again i think there is there is more bias in this i think at 70 your rank should not be this high okay but this is again based on the the data that has been reported by students okay so based on that data at 70 marks also you should get 282 which i think is is absolutely not correct even after adjustment it is coming out to be 69 rank at 70 marks so could be the case around 74 75 you will get in top 20 so based on the paper analysis and some students will get as high as like close to 90 marks okay so if you want to check out the rank uh, you can click uh, on the link that is given in the description uh, again this is expected rank so uh, based on this year this analysis okay so it will basically because we are doing it for the very first time so we don't really know this part that what is the bias in the data between what students report and what is their actual rank if we can get that uh, bias value we can estimate it more accurately so in the coming years we will have a better idea of of what will be your expected gate rank okay so thank you all very much uh, if you have not subscribed to our channel so please do so uh, so that you can keep getting uh, notifications and also click on the bell icon so that you can keep getting notification for any future videos that we upload uh, we will soon be starting gate 2023 batch as well for which uh, actually the, the, the batch will start sometime in April but uh, because some, a lot of students are actually requesting that they want to start their preparation early right from March only so they, they can finish syllabus well before time uh, so keeping that in mind what we will do is we will release uh, what is called pre-course preparation material so that when classes starts you have already prepared some of the content so in that you will get basically recorded lectures of important topics which you have to cover uh, and then once you once you finish that particular part so you will be in a uh, first of all all preparation mode and you will already be ahead of other students uh, we will also be releasing gate test series so some of you may only be interested in uh, going through the test series or some of you may be interested in lectures plus test series so we will have combination of these so if you are only interested in test series that will also be released uh, in total we will have 18 tests and it is a very very important part of your preparations last year some students they just took the test series so uh, so to keep getting the updates please uh, subscribe to our youtube channel and also i will uh, provide the link to the telegram channel below so please also do uh, subscribe to our telegram channel as well okay